Hi, my name is Sherry Reed, and I'm going to be doing a strength and balance class for you today. All you need is a chair, and it's a good idea to get some water. Keep it near you because we'll be taking a couple sips throughout the workout. So just have that close by. It's always good to stay hydrated when you're training. So sit up nice and tall in your chair. Feet are about flat on the floor, about hip width apart. All right, let's take a deep breath in and reach up like you're doing a breaststroke in the water. Take it down and around. Again, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, down and around. Good, one more time. Inhale, reach it up and down and around. All right, bring the chin to the chest and then look up and then look to the right and then look to the left. Good, come back to the center. All right, we're gonna be warming up the legs first. So I'm gonna be mirroring you, so start with our right leg. We're gonna just kick, 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 alternating. And each time you lift your leg, you wanna squeeze those quadriceps. Make them do the work for you. Squeeze, squeeze, pull up, sitting up nice and tall. Four, and three, and two, and one. Now extend those legs, point the toes, and pulse the heels together. Again, pulling up through the torso, through your core, and the toes are kind of pointed. So you're gonna, gonna point the toes towards me. Pulse, 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 good. Four, three, two, one, then scissor, 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 scissor. Good, keep going, keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Four, three, two, and one. Lower down, good, deep breath, reach up, and exhale down. Again, lots of air, inhale, reach it up, exhale down. Let's do one more, and then bring the arms out to the side, and we're gonna press back, 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 like there's a wall right behind you, and you wanna press against the wall. Keep the shoulders down, neck relaxed, and it's four, three, two, one, then up, down, up, down, bending at the wrist. This is really a good exercise to do, especially if you're on the computer a lot. So <laughs> do up, down, up, down. See if you can do this every day, even before you get on your computer. And it's four, three, two, one. Now circle, 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 circle. Four, three, two, one. Take it back backwards. So just reverse. Again, little circles. Four, three, two, one, and lower down. Woo! Feel that. Shoulder rolls back. Deep breaths. <sighs> Lots of air. Good. Let's roll them forward. Forward. Good. All right, let's do another set of legs. So alternating kick, kick. Again, squeeze those quads. Make them do the work for you. Pull up, sit up nice and tall, shoulders down, neck relaxed. Good, this is four, and three, and two, and one. Tap those heels, pulse, pulse, pulse. Make it look nice. It's not like a flopping movement. You're keeping those legs nice and tight, lengthening through the legs, lengthening out through the toes. Good, kind of point them a little bit. So we're not doing this, point the toes towards me. You'll feel the difference. <laughs> Good, four, three, two, one. Now scissor, scissor, cross, cross, cross. Good, four, and three, and two, and one. Good job, lower down, deep breath, lots of air. Exhale down. Again, inhale, breathe through the nose, exhale through the mouth like you're blowing out a candle. Inhale, reach up, exhale, good. Arms out to the side. We're gonna bring them in, in, in. Just tap your fists, tap, just barely touch. Press, press, good. Four, three, two, one. Now take it up, up. Up, good, four, three, two, now front for four, three, 
two, and up. Here we go. Four, three, two. Now front for two. Then up for two. Do that again. Front, then up. Good. Now singles. Up. Take it front and up. Two more. And up. Last one. And up. Now open a door. Open a door. Alternating. Right. Left. Right, like you're opening a doorknob, using a doorknob. Good, this is four, and three, and two, and one. Good job, lower down. Phew, feel those, shoulder rolls back. Lots of air, deep breath. Good, shoulder rolls forward. Good. All right, now we got another set of those kicks. So here we go, starting in the right leg. Kick, 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 kick. Squeeze, make each one count. Make each repetition count, where you really feel that. This is also a great exercise to do when you're sitting on the couch, watching TV maybe. Start kicking your legs. I do this all the time. And just kind of gets the blood flowing, you know, from sitting. All right, let's pulse our heels. Pulse, pulse, pulse. And also if you do sit, you know, I try and get up like every half hour, uh, preferably, or at least on the hour. And just get up and stretch, move, do something where you can just move your body. Good, four, three, two, scissor for eight, seven, six, hang in there, five, four, three, Two and one. Good job. Rest. Phew. All right. Deep breath. Lots of air. Again, lots of air. Deep breath. Good. Now, deep breath in and then take the arms down by the side. Now, I want you to picture having a glass of water in each hand and it's full of water. So you want to press up. Just press like you're pressing that glass up to the ceiling. Press, press, press. Good. Four, three, two, one. Now hold it up. Hold, hold, hold. And release. Again, up. Squeeze those triceps. Try and keep your shoulders down, neck relaxed. Good. One more. Up. Good. Now point the fingertips out and just pulse. So if it's feasible, Get your arms behind your chair. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Depending on the chair you have, that may or may not be possible. All right, fingertips in. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep the shoulders down. Neck relaxed. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Now take it out. Four, three, two, one, and in. Two, three, four. Again, out. Two, three, four, and in three and four. Now in twos. Two. In for two. Out. Two. In. Two. Again. Out. And in. Good. Now singles. Singles. Alternate. Alternate. Out. In. Out. In. And it's four, three, two, and one. Rest. Whew. You should have feel that full uh, felt that in the entire upper back and the triceps. Deep breath in again. Lots of air. Good. One more. Deep breath. Good. All right. Scoot forward to the edge of your chair. Again, feet are hip width apart. Now you can begin with the hands either on your chair if you've got arms or just above your knees. We're going to inhale. Stand tall. Down. Two. Three. And sit. Pulse up. Down two, three, and sit. Again, lift, stand tall. Now it's always a good idea before you get up any time is to take a deep breath in and exhale as you come up and again down. Deep breath in, stand tall. Good, and slowly sit. Let's do two more. And slowly sit, one more. And sit. All right, stand tall, deep breath, lots of air. Good, one more. 
All right, let's get a drink. Make sure you stay hydrated when you work out. Keep that near you. Okay, stand tall, and we're gonna come around to the back side of the chair on the right side. Just hold on to the edge of your chair is fine. Feet about hip width apart, slight bend in the knee. This part's all about balance. Now, if you feel comfortable, you can lift your hand off the chair, but we're gonna stand tall and take the leg out to the side, out. So it's not a big movement because we're going out to the side as opposed to the front or any other angle. And when you're trying to keep that hip pointing towards the sky, it's not gonna be a big movement. Good, all right, now turn those toes to the right corner and squeeze, squeeze to the back corner. When I say squeeze, I want you to squeeze the glutes. Gluteus maximus, squeeze each one, make each one count, good, four, three, two, and one. Good, now let's take it out to the side for two, and then back corner for two. Good, do that again. Pull up, side for two, back corner for two. Good, now one of each. Side, back corner, still stand tall, side, and squeeze the glutes, two more side and squeeze last one and squeeze now to the corner point the toe and in point and flex point and flex point and flex four more three two and one good job Whew. deep breath lots of air again two more deep breaths Inhale, reach it up. Good, one more. Inhale. All right, next, let's go to the other side. So again, find where you need to be. Feet are hip width apart, pull up, stand tall. Here we go, out to the side, and in. Side, and in. Side, and in, pull up, side. Good, four, three, two, and one, back corner, here we go. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes. Good, four and three, two and one. Now to the side, just for two and back corner, two. So when you go to that back corner, turn the toes to the left, again, side for two and then back corner for two. Good, now one of each. Side, back corner. Again, side, back corner. You can keep a slight bend in that knee and that supporting leg if you like. That kind of makes it a little more comfortable. And back corner. All right, here we go. Point and in. Point and flex. Squeeze, engage those quads. This also gets the hip flexors, hamstrings, and glutes. Three, two, and one, good job. All right, stand behind your chair, deep breath. Lots of air. Good, hold on to the top of the chair and just kick out. Kick, just kick, kick, kick. Just kind of loosens up those legs a bit after doing those leg lifts for balance. All right, now, squats. Now, for squats, I like to have my feet just a little bit further apart than hip width. Just a little, not much. Toes face front, and then just turn them out just about an inch, just a little bit. Chairs in front of you, you're gonna pull up, lift the chest. A good idea is to take it down for two, hands above the knees, and up. When you come down, you wanna put the weight into your glutes, into the hips, into the bottom, of your heels and it's just down for two okay so it's it's a tip like that good okay and squat like you're almost sitting in the chair like we were doing with the chair but this time we're doing without good lift the chest 
One more. And up. Now pulse it down. Three, two, one, and lift. Again, three, two, one, and lift. Again, two more. Again, keep that chest lifted. Put the weight into your hips. Good. Give me a set of singles for eight. Good. Seven. Stand tall. Pull those abs in. Squat. Good. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Deep breath. Inhale. Now bring those hands above the knees or hold on to the chair. Take the head down, tuck in, and round the back up. Shoulder rolls back. Deep breath. Hands above the knees. Tuck in, round the back up. Shoulder roll back. Let's do one more. Hands above the knees. Tuck in, round the back, and shoulder roll. Deep breath. Good. All right. Go to a wide stance. Turn the toes out. Pull up, shoulders stacked over the hips. We're gonna take it down for two and up for two. So this is a plie, it's not a squat, and you wanna think about pulling up through the torso, through the core, and you should feel it right here, again, in those quads. It's important to keep these quads strong. This is what helps keep you mobile, allows you to get up easier. So the more you use them, the easier that will be. All right, let's pulse it down for three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Again, now we're gonna add some arms here and lift. Hands on the chair and then lift again and lift one more and lift now singles down and up cross and up cross and up cross and up four more three two last one good job all right bring those legs in lots of air deep breath job. All right. Come to that right side of your chair again. Place your right foot in between the chair legs. Take this left leg back. Tuck your hips in. Shoulders stacked over the hips. Go down for two and up for two. So think of your upper body as like an elevator. It's just going up and down, straight in alignment, not leaning forward. Keep the shoulders back and down, shoulders relaxed. Good, one more. And up. All right, let's pulse it down for three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. One more. And singles for eight. Seven, you should feel a nice stretch in that left hip flexor. And four, three, two, and one. Good job, bring those feet together. Whew. Deep breath. <sighs> Lots of air. Good, all right, just kick, 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 and kick. All right, let's go to the other side. This time the left foot comes in front, the right leg goes back, and then tuck your hips in, shoulders stacked over the hips. Make sure you're in that form. Take it down for two, and up for two. Middle, down, middle, up. Again, middle, down, middle, up. Two more. Good, one more. Pulse it here for three, two, one, and up. Again, think of that elevator. Keep those shoulders stacked over the hips. Three, two, one, and up. 
again and singles here for eight seven you should feel that nice stretch in that hip flexor on your right side through the quadricep three two and one good job bring those feet together deep breath <sighs> lots of air Woo. feel that all right next stand a little bit shoulder about shoulder width apart bring the arms out to the side and have your hands facing front we are going to go twist two three center left two three center notice that my hips face forward we're not twisting like that all the way around the goal is to lengthen through the clavicle here and center one three center again and center and center now we're going to twist and twist elbows up and twist keep a slight bend in the knee and twist 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 good four and three and two and one good job and lower down good deep breath in now interlace your fingers behind your back, press the hands down, press the shoulders down, and lift up. Lift your chin to the sky. Good job, and then release, deep breath. All right, let's grab a drink of water, have a seat. More fun on the way. <laughs> All right, next, sit up nice and tall again. Feet are about hip width apart. Deep breath in again. Bring the arms out to the side. Here we go. Press, up, press, up, press, up, press, up. Good, four, keep the shoulders down. Three, neck relaxed, two, and one. Now, set it on a shelf and down, shelf and down, shelf, and down, shelf, and down. Four more, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna take it up, then set it on a shelf. Press it up, set it on a shelf. Press it up, set it on a shelf. Give me two more, and shelf, one more, and shelf good job and bring them down Whew. always feel those never not feel them simple movement but boy very effective good and then roll it roll it good now on this next part you can certainly add some hand weights if you'd like but you don't actually need them to work the muscles we're going to work the biceps and every time we're going to start here on the side with the palms kind of facing me and you're going to just squeeze and squeeze squeeze the bicep squeeze the bicep just like we did when we were working the triceps and pressing the arm back you can still do the same thing so you want to pull up keep your shoulders back and down elbows stay close to the waist and squeeze good four and three, and two, and one. Now take them out to the corners, same thing. There's three heads in the bicep, so we're just getting another head of the bicep here. And squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good, four more, three, two, and one. Now one of each, front, then corner, front, and corner good front and corner front and corner this is four and three keep those shoulders down two neck relaxed last one and up good job
All right, deep breath. And just take them back and flex at the wrist a bit. Just kind of lengthens the bicep here. All right, now we're still hip width apart. You're gonna lean forward just a little bit, pull the abs in, arms are out to the side. We're gonna reach, pull in, reach, pull in. So I want you to picture you've got a pencil between your shoulder blades and you wanna squeeze that pencil in and squeeze, reach, squeeze, reach, squeeze. Good, four more, three more, two, and one. Good job, hands above the knees, bring it down, tuck in, rounding the back up. Again, inhale, and round that back up. Good, let's do one more and round that back up good all right next hands are down to the side and i want you to picture you've got pitchers of water in your hands and there's a glass on either side we're going to inhale and slight twist on the way up pouring the water into the glass and then coming down i call these pitcher pours <laughs> but they work the shoulders and the rear delts and again, you always want to keep that neck relaxed. So I don't want to see this. We got keep, keep them down. Press it up. Good. Slight twist on the way up. Twist. Good. Twist. And four more. Three. Two. And one. Good job. All right. Deep breath. Shoulder roll back, shoulder roll back. Good, and other way. Roll them, roll them, good job. All right, I am gonna stretch you out. Probably the biggest thing you can do is do some stretching after we've done all that hard work. So begin by sitting back into your chair, sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in, reach up, and then on the exhale, bring the hands behind you, interlace your fingers again, Press the shoulders down and lift your chin. Hold, hold, hold. Good job. And then release. All right. Scoot forward. Turn to your right. Now, it helps if you've got a chair without arms. If you do, you may have to just go more to the corner. But if you can, go to the side and then take this leg back behind you and you'll feel a nice stretch through that hip flexor and quadricep. Holding onto the arm or the back of your chair, you're just gonna inhale and reach up and around. And reach up and around. Good, like you're circling a big clock. Good, and then other way, take it back and around. Back and around, good. Two more. Last one, reach, reach, reach. Now turn to your right and hold on to the back corners of your chair. And just gaze over the back, hold, hold, hold. Try and relax this leg in front, hold. Good job, and then come back to center. Extend that left leg out in front. Sit up nice and tall, put your hand your right hand on the back seat of the chair. Then you're gonna inhale and reach it up and take it all the way over, really reach. Try and flex that extending leg. Reach, reach, reach. Good job. And then bring it down. Turn and face front. Keep that leg extended. We're gonna inhale, reach up, and then take it all the way down. Now if you can, reach for your toes if you can't reach your toes, grab the calf, the ankle, or your foot, wherever you can, and just take a moment and breathe into that back. Hold, hold, hold. Feel that back of that leg get, getting long. Good, and then release. Come back to center, inhale, bring it down and around. And again, lots of air. Good, one more. And round the back. 
All right, let's turn to the other side. Again, taking that right leg down again. Feel that stretch in that hip flexor and the quadricep. Good. Take a deep breath in and reach it up and around. Again, reach it up and around. This is a great movement for the shoulders so they don't get too tight, especially after that work. Good. Now reverse that. So take it back. And around. You might find one side's a little more flexible or easier to move than the other. <laughs> That's normal. Eventually they do even out though. Then reach up. Reach, reach, reach. Good job. All right. And then turn to the left. Hold on to the corners of the chair. And then just gaze over your shoulder, relaxing that leg in front. Hold, hold, hold. Job. and then come back to center extend that leg out in front right leg is out good put your left hand on the back seat of the chair inhale reach it up and over reach 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 hold the more you flex your foot the more you'll feel that stretch up the back of the leg and bring it down and then turn and face front again Flex foot, inhale, reach up, exhale, reach for the toes if that's feasible, or grab your ankles or your calf, wherever you can, but you want to pull up out through the low back, feel that stretch in the hamstrings, glutes, as it goes into your low back. Good job. And then release. Bring it in. Deep breath in. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale, round the back. Good, and again, two more. Good, one more. Good, all right, I love this next stretch. Take your feet wide, turn them to the corners. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach for the floor. Now, spread the fingertips out just a little bit if you can. Take a moment and breathe into your low back. Try and relax your legs here. And then walk your hands out in front if that's feasible. Hold, hold, hold. Breathe into that low back. Good. Now walk your hands back in. Reach over and grab your ankles and push out on the inside of your knees with your elbows. Hold. Hold, hold, hold. This is a great stretch for loosening up the hips as well as the low back. All right, then bring the hands back down on the floor. Then hands go above the knees and then tuck in and roll it up, feet together. Scoot forward again. I'm a big believer in stretching the low back. It's just, this is such a great exercise to do. So you're gonna inhale, reach up, Exhale, interlace your fingers underneath your legs and just give yourself a hug. Now, if it's feasible, kind of inch your chest uh, between your knees. Just take a moment here and just let your back, shoulders, torso, just kind of let them relax a bit. You can let your head hang down if you'd like. Just breathe. Good job. Then release your hands, place them above your knees, tuck your head in, and roll it up. All right, sit back into your chair. Sit up nice and tall. Hold on to the side of the chair here if you've got an arm or on the side of the chair itself. Inhale, reach it up. Reach, reach, reach. And if you can, just kind of rest your elbow on that arm. Pull up out of the waist, but keep your hips firmly planted. And then take it up and then wrap that elbow around the back of the chair. You can hold on to the other arm or your thigh or the chair if that's feasible. And hold, keep your hips facing forward. Hold, hold, hold. Good job, and come back to center. Inhale, reach up again. Now take this arm down and then reach up and over. Reach, reach, reach. That right arm, hold. Pull up out of that waist, keep your hips firmly planted. Hold, hold, hold. 
good and then bring it up and then hook that elbow around the back hold on to the arm and just look over your shoulder hold it breathe into that twist good and then come back to center all right shoulder rolls back big circles roll them roll them good other way forward 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 and relax all right now place your right hand at the base of your neck lift your chin to the sky and open and close your mouth like a fish and I know it looks weird but it helps to lengthen the neck here kind of gets helps rid of that what do we call it that turkey gobble kind of thing going on that I hate to see happening so this helps to lengthen through the neck here Good, and then turn to the right, same thing. Just open and close your mouth like a fish. <coughs> Good, come back to center, and then other side. Good job, come back to center. All right, I always like to finish up with Tai Chi. Make a fist, flat part of your fist, tap your chest, start in the middle. Tap, 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 tap. Nicely. Don't tap too hard. I've had people tap it too hard, they end up bruised. Oh, we don't want to do that. Just lightly tap. And then start going around. You want to do this every day, 30 times. And this builds your immune system. Something very important to do this time. Any time, really, but definitely during this difficult time. All right, next. The side of your forefinger underneath your armpit at the chest level. You can scoot forward a little bit if you'd like to, to reach it better. Tap, 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 tap. This cleanses your spleen. You want to tap 20 times. Again, nicely, not too hard. All right, and then palms out, thumbs in the middle, wrap your fingers around your thumb. Find your low back. If you're standing, you want to bend the knees slightly. Otherwise, just here, you're going to alternate tapping your low back. This improves digestion and kidney function. And release. Good job. Sit back and deep breath. Lots of air. One more time. Deep breath in. Really reach. And exhale down. That's all for Strength and Balance today. Thanks so much for being here. Have a great day.